Wait a minute, is that? Oh my God, Scotland! I'm like just like, oh yeah, this is my way. Like, yeah, what the? the most Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, excuse me, can may I say something? I would hey, love to say something about this disgraceful image. Hey, this is Doug One, Doug at Doug least they got the nose no detail, Today correct? I tried to drive around the entire but, map of GTA 5, but if I say the word... But, uh, what did it hit? It hit, in real life, it hit a rock buried under snow. Where the frick is the rock? And why are the bodies and remains, why is there meat still on it? They were, they ripped off all the meat that they could and all the stuff that they could eat off the bodies because they had to. I don't know if there's anyone on the top of it. And I don't think that's the way I'm out of windows. Also, they're not gonna, they're, they buried the remains. There are also two human bodies that were, there's two human bodies, the, some, one of the, uh, one of the main characters in the Miracle and the Andes book with the person who was one of the two people who escaped from it. Their mother and sister, were, their bodies were not basically ripped apart and had hit all the skin ripped off of it and eaten. Their bodies were basically untouched, aside from being moved. They agreed that even if they would starve to death, they would not eat that body. They would definitely eat each other's bodies. Okay, so first things first, uh, those three men climbing up the mountains, they, those were the three people who went on it. But notice, earlier I said that there were two men who actually made it out, or something along the lines of that. The third man abandoned the trip because he was like too weak in this, and they basically took most of his food, which then helped him survive the whole ordeal. No, also known as the Miracle in the Andes. Yeah. No, what exactly happened was a, a confusion. They did not just dive right into the mountains. The pilots made a very bad error. Now, what error did they make? They thought, thought that they were in the, in the location that they weren't in. So they were flying lower, going to into the airport, the way was the mountain. Are we supposed to be that close to the mountain? <laughs> there was the right wing. <laughs> yeah, and also the tail. And also the horned hair tail of the plane as seats then get ripped out. And of people's seats get ripped off. Also, a part of the story that is not really uh, talked about is that one of the people who, were, who was in one of the seats that were flung out of the back... They actually survived because, like, three boys were able to see a guy walk up on a mountain race, just like shivering and whatnot, probably covered in snow, before walking back. And then, then, and then the guy was never seen again, at least alive. He might have been seen again. I remember who it was, but it was one of the people who was thought to have immediately died. Probably a suit that it was nearly kept to the grave. But then the, also the left wing was then blown off, and the vertical stabilizer, or this thing on the back of planes, the stick up on the back of, on the tail planes, the vertical stabilizer, its top was just blown off for some reason, probably because the tail, it probably ripped off after the tail crashed and just broke it off because of its tumble down the mountainside, and then you're jamming in into some of the rocks or flash area luckily landing up right i'm going to be criticizing this video reaction <laughs> blah 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 you know what if you put it at the end of your video like pretty close to the end
Oh, they got the beginning. Right at the beginning. That's not right at the beginning of the video, wasn't it? Okay, so. First things first. Immediately the inside of the plane. I'm pretty sure that they were window shades. I was taking it from the Miracle in the Andes game. A friendly match? Okay, first things first. Taking a rugby team for to a friendly match? Are you in have you never looked up rugby? Because at that time you would basically let yourself get horribly injured for the team so your team could win. You would probably nearly give your life for your team in rugby in was not friendly, it was war. Um, excuse me, it was a bit, it was cloud, it was very, uh, cloudier. They do not have a map inside the place. Oi, idiot, they do not slap each other. They don't fight in the cockpit. They actually were somewhat, at least somewhat friendly. Um, excuse me, why the fuck did I see two people fall sideways? No, they were not. They were like, oh, shoot, and just getting scared the owl there. It's not ironic, it's absolutely horrible that they were like. Now they were way too close to the mountain, they were way closer. The T thing is pro definitely, uh, like, correct. They pulled it up. They might have been able to dodge it if they didn't. Boing! Um, is it okay, so well, first things first. The wings of the plane, they did not just get blown off like and they were taken off by the mountain range. At least one of the wings was taken off immediately after contacting with the mountain or getting blown off by the tail fin getting blown off. And the other wing was ripped off by the Air Force. The wing closest to the plane was the wing that was actually found. The other wing was lost. The vertical stabilizer was also found. Um, I'm just gonna tell you something which is, uh, no, I was much more flying down fast. Now, that was very, way too cartoony. It was more of a very harsh one, like, and slammed. It did not go, it went, I'm criticizing this video. And it was way fast, it was pretty faster than that, has all, pretty sure it'll be a Hmm. I'm pretty sure that the pilot, he was like bloody. The co-pilot was immediately killed upon impact, while the pilot was horribly injured and would die. But was actually somehow alive. We passed Kunikoya. Same thing applies to you. They will. We passed Kukuru. He did not know exactly what they were, and he must have mistaken it. But he is literally dying. Don't insult him. It's not entirely his fault. Well, it is a bit his fault. Also, they will. Pretty sure a bit smaller. There's no. It was also way bigger. It was a longer section of the plane. I'm pretty sure that they also ripped off the sea, some of the stuff that ripped off. Don't effing make them celebrate that. I think that's a bit later. Yes, because they were too far up. No, it would have looked way wider. Probably also a shadow. I don't think that they were doing that. I don't think people were doing that. Immediately peeped the. I mean, we peed off. It's just like. I hate the fact. Why? Make it actually serious. Yeah, they were Christian, I'm pretty sure. Oh, F, 
you. May I tell you something which is F you for making this joke? Why the F would you make this absolutely comedic joke? They didn't even, why would they have a dinner tray? Why would they not just be ripping apart parts of leafy greens? They did not, the chairs, they, well, at least somewhat correct. But they did not have a freaking ping pong table, but metal, nor did they have menus. All those my school's lunch, little lunch menu things when you uh, buy something from my school. When you buy your lunch from the school, those trays that you want the food on looking things. Nor did they have waitresses, you little beep. There was one crew member who actually survived, though I'm pretty sure he died uh, from another incident later on. <laughs> well, at least there's a little detail of... Think! Okay, show this truck of spinach. McBuddy for the kids menu. There's no kids in it, thank God. But I feel like that this is a bit of a really harsh joke. Considering that I'm pretty sure all of them are alive, or at least basically all of them, one of them might have died pretty soon. So they could have seen this video, and they probably, at least some of them could have seen this video, and been absolutely peed off at this. Um, they would remove the bone. proceed with you the fine f you for this they did not have a cupcake oh thank god you thank god you were admitted that that was inappropriate for this in subject matter they not just fall dead they died pro i'm pretty sure in the night or from the wind you no, because they got them into the in this mess. They did not just start chowing down on it. They, at least based on the movie, they were like reluctant to eat it. Somebody had to eat it first, referring to the uh, Alive, the 1992-ish movie. One or two weeks? I think it was longer than that. Oh yeah, also one of the guys who was knocked, he got, he was in one of the front seats and was knocked out for, th for the first three days. His mother dying, and his sister, I think her name was Susan, actually being alive until the avalanche came. But it was a bit more. Also, the last crew member who was alive was killed. And the guy who's basically the main character of Alive had busted a hole in the roof so that they could actually breathe. breathe. Um, I would like to call it a physicist for the fact that it is the Wampa Cave from ep from Star Wars Episode Five. I guess the plane turned into that because there were bodies stuck to the ceiling, which is scientifically inaccurate and not even accurate to what happened. They were laying on the floor. That was what was going to kill them because the avalanche came in, destroyed their luggage hole, holding up thing destroyed it they and then they basically were drowning on snow and able to breathe which is absolutely horrible they did not were not standing up the only person who was standing up had like heard it and would how and would free the first person who then went to free oh uh, yeah they i don't know if the bomb was ripped off and i'm pretty sure the top of it yeah though they had to go with another expedition to bring someone back but uh no, they didn't. No, it was uh, because uh, it was too hard to transport, so they had to get another trip back to the tail fin. No one. Why are you nosing around? I am ranting. We basically gave them more meat. 
three people. One of them abandoned the trip beforehand while going on it. So only two of them would go there. If they have three people going on there, they had them in their weird little backpack like things. Let's save them. They were wrong. A bummer. That was an absolutely depressing thing. It was still somebody left that. The memory of the pilot. One of them getting tired. No, it was like a bit of a bigger stream, I'm pretty sure. They used lips. They used lipstick to tie a message around. Some a real piece of paper. Yeah, in the book, they actually see what a struggle it was to get the planes there. There was like a storm, a horrible storm. It's like a horrible storm just to get out there to save them. I think they had a lead. Only picked up some people. And get got the other ones. Yeah, yeah, it could have been better if you actually re if you researched it better. You didn't have that absolutely horrible dinner joke. I don't even think there was a first class. They were all basically on the same level, doing a bit of joking around before they then get murdered. What's the time? I'm gonna check the time real quickly. Check it, it's 8.20. Uh, at least I my clock which is like 4 minutes off, so it'll be uh, probably around 8.16. Ish. Maybe 8.17. Let's rate this like a C minus. Not the best, not the worst. Not even close to the best. A pretty bad adaptation. There is a much better adaptation that would be an S plus. It would probably be alive. S plus would be uh what is it? A Society of the Snow, which I correctly predicted was gonna be a Miracle in the Ends movie, also very unrelated. But, uh, remember Ocean Gate Disaster? I predicted that it was a submarine implosion. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a community note or something. We'll get blocked off the platform and murdered in my sleep tomorrow for saying that. But, uh, you'll be caught on camera. What the? I have no idea what that's about. Oh, bye.